You are doubtless eager to attempt Minfilia's rescue, and with your combined strength, you may well succeed. But as I said earlier, I do not wish to show our hand unless absolutely necessary. It was not merely the night sky that you restored to us, but hope. Hope for the future of Norvrand. Unlike you, we cannot contend with the Light Wardens, but so long as hope burns in our hearts, we will fight on regardless. This I will prove to you. My friends, I thank you for gathering at such short notice. There is something I would ask you all. As many of you are aware, I received an emissary from Yulmor a short while ago in the form of General Ranjit. To my dismay, the General condemned the slaying of the Light Warden, and warned me in no uncertain terms that, should the Crystarium cast its lot with the Warrior of Darkness, there would be war. Let none be mistaken, we would be hard-pressed indeed to resist the might of Yulmor. Some would even call it suicide. And yet my heart cries out to fight. Better that than relinquish the hope that swelled in my breast when I beheld the night sky for the first time in a hundred years. Or so says my heart. My mind, meanwhile, reminds me that to follow my heart would be to risk everything we have accomplished thus far. Clearly, this is not a decision to be made lightly, nor less alone. And so I put the question to you all. What should we do? My lord, you already know our minds. It brought tears to our eyes to witness the knight's return. The whole of Norvrant deserves the same, and not just because some children's story tells us so. Yulmor's influence is far-reaching. Should war break out, trade would be subject to restrictions. The flow of goods will dry up, and we will struggle to make do with what little trickles through. But make do, we will. Aye, we can weather such hardships. Is that not the very thing the Crystarium was built for? We have always taken pride in our ability to sustain ourselves. Not just to endure, but to thrive. When all falls down around you, rise up. Those were your words. There may come a day when all hope seems lost. But even should the rest of the world give in to despair, we shall not. We shall fight on, that our children and our children's children might know a better tomorrow. Rousing words apart, I never much cared for those Yulmoran bastards anyway. No better than common swindlers, most of them. Wouldn't know a fair deal if it came up and kissed them on the arse. Trust you to spoil the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it appears we have a consensus. Let it be known that the Yulmoran host at Laxon Loft has taken the Oracle of Light captive. They fear the power she holds over the Sin Eaters, and doubtless intend to imprison her once more. So, I move that we rescue the Oracle, grant her a place among us, and let that be our answer to Yulmor's ultimatum. Hear, hear! Hear, hear! In planning a strategy for the rescue, I open the floor to you all. Uh, 
And there you have it. If Yulmore wishes to denounce us as villains, then we shall embrace our villainy. Will you do so as well? <sighs> we will not be outdone. Consider us your partners in crime. My lord, our proposal is as follows. We begin by deploying Amaro to occupy the skies over Lakeland. They should serve to delay the airship's departure. At the same time, we scatter dream powder from the air. Not all will succumb to its effects, but it should thin the enemy's numbers, affording us an opening to swoop in and liberate the Oracle. Very good. See to your preparations. <laughs> and what exciting crimes would you have us commit? Speaking for my fellow villains, I'd say we're capable of most things, though we draw the line at indolence. <laughs> if excitement is your desire, then I bid you join the guard. Captain Lena will give you your orders. <laughs> 